Hi you everyone, howdy doody. Right then, back to do my uh, next design team project for the Trinket Parlour. And this week I thought I would alter this. It's gorgeous. Um, I think it's called Rose Gold Kilt Pin. How pretty is that? So I'm going to make some lovely little dangly bits and pieces to um, hang off that. So uh, that was in the, I'm sure it was in, yeah, it was in the design team package for uh, this month just gone. Um, I'm going to use these charms that I've got left over as well with the patina colour on them. So they're going to be dangling. I don't have any uh, rose gold findings of any gold kind, so I'm just using normal gold going to mix it up a bit with the um these colors so this is a let me undo it These are all the bits and pieces I've gathered. I may not use them all, but this is what's been gathered. Let's just throw that away. Um, selection of beads from my stash. Um, I've gone for browns and blues and clears. And I'm not sure I'm going to use them or what I'm going to use, but probably mainly the blue and the browns. So, so that's them. I've got gold head pins remember these boxes you used to get your old uh, 35 mil camera things in and then I've only got small ones I've got some uh, eye pins as well in gold so I'll be using those and some gold and bronzy uh, split pins, uh, bead caps, uh, spacer beads, that sort of thing, all in there, ready to go. Got my toolage, cutters, um, needle nose pliers or whatever they're called, and the round nose pliers. I've also got some lace this is all trinket parlor trim uh some of this lovely blue sparkly trim um again not sure if i'm using everything but these i pulled out of my stash a ticket a clock and a little banner that says love and i also got some other bits from my stash were well, these actually the trinket parlor but i bought them last year so i've got those as well as i said not sure if i'm going to use everything but i've also got some pink beads in here from the trinket parlor i might, might add some um and i might add use some of this brown um coppery seam binding and I've got some extra gold chain that I just had in my stash just in case I want to put some dangly 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 things and what else have I got? I've done my tools and this week I bought some lovely I'm sure Emily won't mind me mentioning them in on here um some lovely flowery lace look doily lace from the lace attic how gorgeous is that and i'm thinking maybe backing that onto one of them like that so that's that one and this white one as well 
So I'm again not sure I'm using it all, but you know what it's like you have to gather your supplies, don't you? So now for me to sit here and string loads of beads and all that sort of thing will take forever. So I'm gonna do most of them and then do the last couple on the video so you can actually see how I put them all together but they'll all be like similar same sort of beads and put together the same way so uh, rather than you sitting me sitting watching me do the whole lot I thought I'd do a few and then come back and do the last couple with you so uh, bear with me I'll be back very soon hello I'm back again right I've done a few bits I'm trying to do them in different lengths, so let me just show you what I've done. This one is just um, one bead and the two coins that came in the collection. This I've put um, a brown bead and a um, crystal beige bead with the uh, glass bead that is that we actually they're all glass beads with the scissors so that's that one and then I've got this one which is uh, using the brown and the blue beads uh, I've put the moon there added this little um, I don't know even know what they're called but you can hang charms from them so I hung the little cute key ring uh, sorry, the padlock and key. So that's my next one. And then this one again, mixed up the blue and the brown. Um, some angel wings from my stash. And the bike. Unicycle. Not unicycle. I don't know what it's called. One of those. Penny farthing. <laughs> Okay, so that's that one. So now I want to do one for this cute little bee. So again, using my head pins, I've been adding them together like those all on one head pin. And then I did this bead up here on a separate head pin and just joined them together to make it longer. So, uh, and this one I just want to make a little bit longer still. So, and all I'm going to do is put one of these little spacer bead, tiny little ones on there. And I think I'll go with the blue this time. Yeah, a bit more blue, I think. I'm going to use this big one, faceted one. So I'm going to put that on there, get another one of these little spacer beads, fiddly, fingers are too fat, okay, and then all I do is grab it it back to a 90 degree angle like so and then all I'm going to do is make another loop make sure it's straight So that's that one, and then I'm going to make, I don't know if I'm going to have that further down actually, I might have that one down the bottom. So I want another eye pin, and what shall I have next? What shall I have next? Hmm. I think I like these square ones, so I think I'll go with them. So one of them. A daisy spacer bead 
and I think another square one. Find the hole there, like that, and then I'm going to put another one of these tiny ones on. And the same thing again, hold it down. I haven't got much room to play with with this one, so and then fold it. I don't know if you can see, sorry, fold it around. That didn't work. Didn't do that right. Hang on. Let's just undo that again. Right. Start again. That's better. Get that little bit on the end to tuck in. It's not doing what I want it to do. Rude. That's better. No, it's not. That's it. So that's that one. And I will add that probably to the top of there. In fact, I might put a brown bead in the middle. So, another pin. And I think I will have a sparkly one. One of these glass beads, crystal beads rather. Yep, and another daisy. And another crystal. Yeah. I need to put no. Like so. Sorry, I'm going off camera. See what I'm doing. that's that one and now I'm going to put all them together with some of these tiny oh, too tiny for my hands so that one Like that. And then I want another one. For this one. That one on there, and then that one on there, and close it up. Is that closed? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's move them ones out of the way. I need that one because I need to see the measure the length 
and then I need to put my jump ring, split ring, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. It's not very good, is it? Better. Like that, and I'm going to put that on there. And then I'll put the B down there like so, because I wanted it a bit longer than the bike. Mm, do you want another one? Yeah, I might put one more bead on that. Um, what shall I have? Um, brown. Put some little end caps on that. Sorry. That's what I'm doing. In there. Tiny little one. On there. And keep a little tiny bit of that off. Always point it down onto the mat so it don't go flying everywhere. Because I think I might have said this before. I trod on the needle once. I end first into my foot. Not nice. Ended up in hospital having to have it removed. So, so I am going to put that one on there. And then That's better. Yeah, and that on there. Do, 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 do. I haven't got any of these left. I've got any lying around anywhere. No. Oh well. Hopefully. I'll need one for that one and one for that one. So that on there, that on there, the B on, close it up, and there's your next one, all dangly and lovely. So, and then last, what I've done is this um, leaf, sorry, I've added it onto a chain, And that is just by the time I've put this ring on. A little bit of a dangle on it. So it's just a bit longer. Just. So that's it. That one. That one, that one, and that one. So let me just get rid of this slot and then we can start stringing them onto the uh, kilt pin. Tidy this lot up. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the rest of those. Get 
compared to that. Oh, I know, I wanted to do this as well, but oh, we've had the other bits on last, so I'm going to do this bit first. So, let's tip them back in my pot. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the longest one on first. Actually, I could probably just, instead of undoing all the split rings is maybe if it'll let me yeah just thread them on like that I might add a few more bits to that one so that's that one that's the next one All I'm doing is getting the uh, jump ring, split ring at the top and threading it over the hook like so. Is that the right one? Mm -hmm. Done that wrong already, look. Get them in order. That's that one. That's that one. That's that one. That's a short one. That's better. Okay. So I'm just pushing the ring down over the this hook and then sliding it through like so. And then that one's next. So again, just pushing it in, or threading it down, then that one. Oh, pretty pretty. See, and then once they're all on, I can decide if I want to add any more or any more bits and pieces. That's why I've got loads of stuff out just in case. Okay, that's that one. And then the small one. Like that. Oh, I like it. How pretty. How pretty, pretty. See? Now then, I think, oh, I haven't got any more jump wings now, have I? Um, what else have I got? No, I've got a gold one. Because what I was thinking of doing is adding the lace, the, uh, the lace trim. And as well, at the end, with... A bit of this from the trinket parlour that I've threaded. Oh, let me just see if I can show you. Because there's no hooks or anything on it, all I did was get a tiny little jump ring, split ring, whatever, and uh, added it on, but made it really tight so it can't move about too much. And then once it's threaded on here, I'm going to close it up a bit more. OK. 
Okay, so let's try that, see if that works. Where's my little gold ring gone now? There it is. So, um, I think, sort of want it to go like that. and put the ring through there and then add this tiny one on put that on there as well That one, then have a look. I could hang it on the end of the flower, couldn't I? So, there. Like that, what do you think? Hiya! Guess who finished the video and thought she was recording and wasn't? <laughs> Me! Right, so. Um, I think I was doing the bit with the lace and everything, and I didn't like that, so I took that off. Um, and all I've done is added this blue bling in the centre of the kilt pin and then um, I added the um, arrow on as well. I, I haven't put any beads or anything with it because it's, I just want it, wanted it that length. So, uh, so this is my bit of lace with it all hanging on. So that's it. Very pretty. So as I said, you can wear that on your bag. Put it on your bag charm. You could even put that on your jacket. And wear it like that if you so wish. So, or on a mini album, anything. Anything you want to decorate. So, so I'll put some photos up at the end. Um, all these lovely bits and pieces, as I said, are available from the Trinket Parlour. So um, look them up on Facebook, ask to join the group. You will be added and welcomed, of course, as always. And they have uh, photo albums with different sections. And you can go in and just say, yes, please, I want one of those. And let Emily know when you finish shopping and um, she'll invoice you and send you all your goodies once you've paid. So, um, well worth a visit, lovely little shop, nice, nice bunch of ladies. So get on over and join the Trinket Parlour. I will think I'm going to get back to some construction next week for my design team project. I started something that I need to um, get on and do. So um, I might do that next week. So it's been a bit of a hectic week this week. So... I just thought I'd do this. Thanks for joining me. Um, as I said, go over to the Trinket Parlour parlor and um, go and have a look at their lovely, lovely goodies and spend some money because you won't be able to help yourself. <laughs> Take care, everybody. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.